Are you nursing? Are you pregnant? Do you know someone who's pregnant? Well, I have a pattern testing just for you. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I am going to be doing a pattern review for a pattern testing that I did for Stephanie from Sew with Stephanie for the Alexandria dress. Now, before we get started, <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are new to the channel, oh welcome, hello, ciao, guten tag, hola, aloha, wa guan, konnichiwa. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of my content and of course join the sewing family. All right, so let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review, all right? All right, so let's start off with the pattern description. Now this is a nursing um, pattern. So this is part of her nursing collection that she is doing right now. So Stephanie, if you don't know, I'm gonna put all her content in the description box below to her Instagram account as well. It's so with Stephanie. I will also link it all in the description box below so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Now the pattern description is a nursing, pretty much like a nursing dress. You have the under bodice. Basically it's like the nursing bodice, the front bodice, and then you have the back and it forms into a dress. Okay. Now this is a knit garment so if you plan on using woven you cannot do that simply because it's supposed to stretch when you're nursing now i'm not nursing i'm not pregnant none of that stuff but i did want to test this out and i'll tell you why so if you remember back in i want to say july when i did the maternity shopping on a 300 dollars budget i told you that i have a high school friend who has a daughter that's pregnant, right? Cheyenne. So I will be giving this to Cheyenne um, because she is currently pregnant right now and she can benefit from this dress, but I wanted to, you know, basically take pictures in the dress, see what it's about, see, give you guys my honest opinion about this dress, all right? So now that I talked about the pattern description and why I sewed it up and who is it for, let's go ahead and talk about the notion she used. So the notions used for this pattern, you only need thread, no zippers, no snaps, none of that. Okay. No bias tape, none of that. You just need thread. You need your knit needle. Do not use a woven needle. Use a knit needle, a needle for a knit. Okay. That's all the notions that you will need. Let's talk about fabric use. So if you go back to my um, September sewing plans that I posted a few days ago, you will know that I picked up this fabric from um, Amazon through fabric.com. So this fabric is from fabric.com, but I purchased it on Amazon. All right. Now this is a crepe knit floral style fabric. I will definitely put it in the description box below. This colorway is sold out. However, you can get a different colorway as well. Now let's move over to the sewing skill level. All right, now for this dress, it is not rated. However, it is a super easy to sew pattern. Listen, it comes together very quick. I think there's only like eight steps. However, each step has about two, maybe three things that you will have to do. So instructions wise, it's very easy to follow. She's very thorough in the instructions on exactly how to construct this dress. All right, let's talk about pattern sizing. Now, for this pattern, and this is what the pattern looked like right here, the Alexandria, you have option A with the long sleeve and then option B with the shorter sleeve. I did option B, all right? Now, um, actually, the skill level is easy, and um, I forgot to mention that. It is an easy pattern, and it, the skill level shows that it's easy. Um, now, regarding pattern sizing, I think it's, comes it starts at an extra small and goes all the way up to 3xl so for this the size range 
Bust, finished bust measurement for the extra small is a 33 and goes all the way up to 45. Now I'll remind you, it is a knit fabric. So it will stretch with you. So now the size that I cut, I cut a 2XL for a size 43. Now I did this because I needed to fit for myself. Um, Cheyenne is not a 43. <laughs> But she can use this right now, being that after she have her baby, she will be nursing, which I already um, discussed that with her. She will be nursing, so she will be able to fit into this dress. All right, so that is the pattern sizing and the pattern that I uh, cut. Let's talk about the pattern pieces. So for this pattern, there's nine pattern pieces. You have the front bodice, then you have the nursing bodice, you have the back, you have the front waistband, which is the tie. You also have the ties. You have the back bodice. You have the sleeve. You have the skirt. And then you have the neck bend and the pocket. So you have nine total pattern pieces for this. However, let me tell you something. There's two skirt options. You have the shorter skirt and then you have the longer skirt. I did the shorter skirt because I only had four yards of fabric. If you plan on doing the longer skirt, add another yard of fabric for five yards. I only had four, so I had to make it work. So what I did was I did the shorter sleeve instead of the longer sleeve because I didn't have enough fabric there. And then I cut the shorter skirt instead of the longer skirt because I did not have enough fabric there as well. So I made it do what it do, okay? Um, but yeah, that's exactly what I did for this pattern. All right, let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications? No, because this was pattern testing and I needed to test the pattern as is with the instructions. So if you have never did any pattern testing, you do it exactly like the instructions. You get feedback for, you know, if you ran up into any problems with the um, instructions, that's one thing that you do. Another thing that you do is give positive feedback honestly, because it will help the pattern designer make any changes, any comments, if the sizing was off, give those feedback to the person that you're testing for, okay? Enough about that, all right? Because they'll make their feedback and changes to the pattern before they drop the pattern. So make sure you give honest, correct feedback, all right? That's all I'm gonna say about feedback. All right, let's talk about, did it look like the photos in the drawing on the pattern envelope? Yes and no. So yes, it looks like the photos, but no, because I think I did something wrong. And I'm gonna discuss that here in the likes, likes and dislikes, okay? Let's talk about, are the instructions easy to follow? Yes, they are super, super, super easy to follow. It took me about, an hour to cut the um, pattern. Now this is a PDF pattern. So it took me roughly about an hour to tape the pattern. Now, you guys know how I feel about PDF patterns. I do not like taping the pattern. However, when I received the pattern, I did not see that it was an AO pattern. I only had two weeks to do this, okay? So because of that, I didn't want to take the chance of sending it off to PDF plotting, then turn around a week and then I only have a week or maybe a few days to do it, okay? I did not, I just did not want to take those chances, okay? So I went ahead, I printed the pattern off, 33 pages, but even though it's 33 pages, it was super easy to put together. Now, the 33 pages does include 11 pages of instruction. So I was only putting together roughly about 20 pages for the entire pattern, which is nine pattern pieces. So I was super duper pleased with how quick I put the pattern together, okay? Now, do I like taping patterns together? Absolutely not. But this came together very quick after taping it. I cut it out, cut the size that I wanted which was a 2X with no modifications, no sizing up, no sizing down, none of that, okay? So I did cut the 2X and it came together very, 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 very quickly, all right? Let's talk about likes and dislikes. All right, so let's start off with the dislikes. So the dislike that I'm gonna say is, it's not necessarily a dislike, I think I did something wrong. So for me, if you notice that this portion right here, which is the nursing bodice, it kind of peeks up over the front bodice. Now, I think the reason why it is, is simply because 
you're not supposed to sew this part down um, to the skirt. Now I did, which I think that's why I say I think that was a mistake that I did. So, um, because if you look on the photo, which is right here, I'm gonna try to bring it closer. If you look at the photo right here, it looks like the front is um, left on sewn okay right here you just hem the bottom and then you just have the the bodice the nursing bodice attached to the skirt that's what it looks like for me and i did not do that i sewn the front bodice and the nursing bodice to the skirt which now it looks like that's not what i was supposed to do so i'm unsure if it was a portion in the steps that was incorrect or if it was just me okay so i have to give honest opinion um, so the last step, it says with right sides together, match the raw edge of the bodice with the waist of the skirt, adjust the gathers to match the width of the bodice and sew. So tell me what you think. Does that mean right sides together? You pin the bodice to the skirt, all of the bodice to the skirt. I don't know. So I just pinned the entire bodice to the skirt and sewn it together. And then I noticed that the nursing bodice is completely pushing down on the skirt, but this part is kind of like uh, loose. So I don't know. However, it works for the photos. Like you cannot tell that there's any issues in the photos, which is one thing that I do like. Another thing that I like is I love the style of this dress. Like I love it. I would actually make it for myself. Now, Another like that I like is the fabric. <laughs> like the fabric is breathable. I mean, even though it was super duper windy outside when I took these photos and the sun was going in and out, but I think that it being a knit fabric, a crepe knit is what I use. I like this pattern. I love the dress. Okay. So outside of that, let's talk about first time experiences. Did I have any first time experiences? Yes. So the first time experience that I had was actually doing a nursing dress or anything that has to do with nursing. Simply because when I was nursing, um, I have two children. For those of you who don't know, you know now, right? When I was nursing my son, I did not make any nursing garments. So this is the first time that I have um, done something that's, you know, nursing. So it was a little different. Um, did I know how to put it together? Yes. <laughs> I knew how to put it all together and what it's supposed to look like because I had some clothes that I purchased from motherhood that are nursing and I kept those for two years after nursing my son. Okay. So I kept it until he hit roughly about two before I threw it all away. So I knew exactly how to put all the pieces together. All right. So that was my first time experiences. Um, let's talk about what I sew it again. Yes, I would sew it again, but with me sewing again, I want to say she, did, she does give you two options. You have an option A and an option B. Now, for me, I think that um, with this pattern, it should give several options. Now, she doesn't necessarily have to give you additional options, but if you look at this pattern and you purchase this pattern, which I hope you do because it's a good one, um, you can literally get a good five or six different looks out of this pattern which i believe that's what stephanie want you know anyone who's nursing or not even nursing to get out of this pattern think of it as this when you purchase a pattern you want to look outside of just the views that you see and hack the pattern as many times as you possibly can now the first view is the long sleeve with the skirt that's one option the second option is the short sleeve with the shorter skirt that's option number two. Now, a third option that you can do is just do the front bodice and the skirt and leave out the nursing piece. If you're not nursing, okay? Now, this is a nursing collection, so you may wanna put that piece in. So if you're not nursing and you just wanna get this pattern to support Stephanie, which I hope you do, because this is great, um, you can just do the front bodice, the back bodice, the pockets, everything else, and leave off the front uh, nursing portion. A second option is you can leave off the front bodice and just have the nursing bodice and the back and the skirt. That could be another option that you do. And the last option that you can do is basically have the longer skirt, no pockets, add, you know, 
do a color block you could do that now that's one option that stephanie showed you on a post on her instagram she did a color block option as well so those are some of the things that you can do with this dress all right so let's talk about what i recommend this to others yes i would recommend this pattern to others go and get this pattern okay <laughs> and my pattern rating now for me i'm gonna rate this pattern as a 4.5 out of 5 only because I did experience, you know, basically, I believe it was me to be honest, but I do have like some um, excess fabric going on right here. And I think it's only because the top is supposed to be left loose, whereas the nursing bodice is supposed to be attached. From what I see on this portion of the pattern, however, it doesn't say that in the instructions. So, I'm unsure I will reach out to Stephanie to get her opinion about exactly what can I do and if I can fix it I will fix it before sending this over to Cheyenne okay this week but that's it for this video I hope you like this video go over and see uh, Stephanie's all her blog posts is about it as well make sure you purchase this pattern it is a super easy pattern to do so i do appreciate each and every one of you if you are new welcome 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 hit that like button and subscribe button and join the family if you are returning i thank you so much for your continuous support for this channel all right so that's it for the video and as always keep sewing Working at nine to five, I had to go and feed the guys. Nobody did it right, I had to show them how to grind. I had to beat the odds, this is the life I live for God. Taking a step at a time, we're going up.